Hi, and welcome to Tribe's Toolbox, where you will find tips, tricks, and stories for black women by black women. I'm Lola Delola, and I am the founder of Black Girl Tech and a software engineer. In today's episode, we're going to cover coding and look at things like mentoring, boot camps, and the different kinds of developer you can be. So, what is coding? Coding is writing a set of instructions to a computer. Essentially, it's telling the computer to do what you want it to do. There are three main types of coders. Full stack, front end, and back end. We will start with the back end engineers. Back end engineers deal with the things that you cannot see, the parts of the code that are not immediately visible to the user. So, going onto YouTube, typing in your favorite video, and YouTube going to find all the videos with those words in the title. The act of going away to find those videos is what's happening on the back end. And the languages that typically do this are C, Python, Java, Ruby, and a host of others. The list is endless. The next one is front end. Front end coders deal with the things that you can see. So that is when you go on YouTube, the big bright red logo, the typography, the list of videos, all of that is the front end, the things that you can see. And the languages that usually happen on the front end are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and again, a host of other languages. There are literally so many to choose from. Finally, there's full stack, which combines both front end and back end together. So for this, you are dealing with things that the people can see and the things that the people can't see. Which one of these do you think appeals to you the most? So how do you actually get into coding? For me, I took a very non-traditional route, but the traditional route would be to have a degree, a computer science degree. And as part of this, you would learn the foundations of computer science, algorithms, and a variety of different languages. To do this, you would need Mass A level and sciences as well to show that you are competent. The cons for this, however, are it takes about three to four years to complete, which isn't time everybody has. It's also expensive, especially if it's not your first degree. The way I did it was actually to go through a bootcamp course. Boot camps are typically three to six months in length, and you cover a wide variety of subjects. I did Ruby, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and this was more than enough to prepare me for my first job in the industry. Now, the cons are boot camps can be very expensive. And if you are somebody who has graduated from a boot camp, it may be harder for you to get a job in the industry. However, things are changing, so don't worry about that too much. Another way to get into the industry is through work experience. Now this is great because it means you have real world experience of what it's like to be a coder or engineer. Work experience is usually not as intensive as boot camps. They're usually free and you might get paid. However, there are some cons to this. These include the fact that you do not get certification at the end. There is no official curriculum, so essentially you are learning what you need for the specific job that you're in, which may not be enough to transfer or get jobs elsewhere. Also, you can learn to code by yourself independently. Now, this is harder, especially if you're coming fresh and you've never coded before, but there are ways to do it. You may find it difficult trying to structure and fit everything around your current schedule, but it is possible. It's also the cheapest way to go. You may incur costs for things like online tutorials, maybe one-off classes and materials, but it's nowhere near as expensive as doing a degree or doing a boot camp. There are also a number of free workshops you can go to in your city. I run a workshop in London called the Black Girl Tech Code and Chill Workshop, and you're happy to come down anytime you feel like it. Something that is beneficial with all of these different paths is that they do provide easy access into mentoring and networking. Now, they do it in slightly different ways, but essentially, regardless of if you do a boot camp, work experience, degree, or even if you learn by yourself, there are networks available to you. And from these networks, you can find mentors who are willing to help you. These can be in-person networks, such as Black Girl Tech, 
or they can be online networks such as Stack Overflow, Twitter, and a host of other places too, which I will list in our resources at the end of the video. These networks are full of people who want to help. Coding is communal and everybody wants to help and wants people to grow. So that's it for my tips and tricks on how to get into coding. And I know the process might seem a little bit intimidating, but don't worry about it. There are black women here in the industry, so you won't be alone. And you don't have to be a genius and understand and know everything to even put your foot in. I have been doing this for four years now, and I still have to Google the most basic things. So come, learn, and we'll have fun together. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Tribes Toolbox. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below telling us what you've learned in today's episode and check out all the other videos in Tribes Toolbox as well.